Welcome to Authorizing SketchUp. You'll want to open your browser and visit sketchup.com forward slash download forward slash all. Likely this is your first time visiting this site, so SketchUp's going to want you to access your Trimble ID. Here you can sign in with a Trimble ID or create an account. It's free, it's easy, and it's quick. Once you've done that, you'll want to enter your username and password. SketchUp will then send you an authorization code if this is your first time to your email. Go ahead and enter that when you get it and hit submit. Now you'll visit the download all page and you can access every version of SketchUp that's available. Pick the most current one available for your system. In my case, it's a Windows machine. SketchUp will begin the download to your system. You can see that usually in your browser or downloads menu. It takes just a couple of minutes for that. We're going to speed it up here for this little video. Go ahead and open that file and SketchUp will install on your system. You can select the destination directory. We're going to use the default and just click install. SketchUp will write to your local disk, install itself. Takes just a couple minutes. Go ahead and click on finish when it's done. SketchUp will load the terms and conditions you'll need to review. It's pretty lengthy, I'm just gonna click agree here, but you can feel free to scroll through all of these. You may wanna read those, go ahead and click continue. Go ahead and click on add classic license when we're ready here. I'll take you to this screen, go ahead and click on Add License. From here you can enter, copy and paste the serial number and authorization code for the license. Click Add License and you're good to go. Go ahead and click on Files. Here you'll see the template screen. We're just going to click Simple here and get started. SketchUp should load and you'll be ready to start sketching. Thanks for watching.